Apple wants to boost growth by pursuing new markets. The plan of the iPhone maker is here. Because of weak consumer demand, IT spending has decreased. However, despite a gloomy economic outlook, Apple earnings have held up well. What industries are helping Apple's financial performance? And how will India and other developing nations contribute to the internet giant's expansion plan? Alexis Garcia and Patrick Zeitz from IBD examine how Tim Cook and company intend to maintain the upward trend in Apple stock prices. The historical smartphone film BlackBerry. While critics scorn it as another corporate biopic, the BlackBerry film appeals to enthusiasts of antiquated technology. Most reviews of the debut of the story of the growth and collapse of the BlackBerry, one of the first personal handheld communication devices, have been favorable. When handheld emailing was a revolution rather than a punishment, there was a time when phones had buttons. The new BlackBerry movie, which debuted in theaters on Friday, immortalizes this charming time of history. It chronicles the tale of the Canadian geniuses who invented the device's namesake in the 1990s, how they managed to get it into the hands of every successful business person, and how the iPhone ultimately destroyed their thriving industry. Research in Motion, RIM, the parent company of BlackBerry held 20% of the worldwide smartphone market at its height in 2009. But in the 2010s, touchscreen rivals overtook BlackBerry, and in 2022, the company discontinued the software that supported its vintage handsets. The film, which claims to be primarily fact-based, is loosely based on the 2015 book Losing the Signal, the untold story behind the extraordinary rise and spectacular fall of BlackBerry by Jackie McNish and Sean Silkoff. Writer, Director, and co-star Matt Johnson admitted in an interview with the Associated Press that he changed some timelines, created the workplace culture using his own interpretation of the 1990s, and gave the main characters our own personalities and our own ideas. However, Johnson emphasized, our lawyers wouldn't let us include anything in the movie that was a complete fiction. A modern classic from Canada? The movie received largely favorable reviews when it first debuted, earning a 97% certified fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes following its first weekend. Hollywood has taken a liking to it, and U.S. comedian Patton Oswalt praised it on Twitter as a kinetic, hilarious, and frequently terrifying, thrill ride. It has also received praise from Canadians who saw it as their nation's response to the well-regarded Facebook biopic The Social Network. With a Canadian writer-slash-director, Canadian production team, and, of course, a story about a Canadian firm, the movie, is as Canadian as they come. The film Blackberry also appeals to an increasing sense of longing for long-gone technology. Particularly appealing to Gen Z are the digital point-and-shoot cameras from the early 2000s, and some of them prefer dumb phones to sleek smartphones. But not everyone enjoys the movie. Inaccuracies in the screenplay have been criticized by some former BlackBerry employees, including early RIM employee Matthias Wandel. Following the release of the trailer, Wandel published an 18-minute YouTube video criticizing some of the filmmakers' alleged misleading artistic license. He spoke at length with Johnson about Rim's history before the movie was filmed and even gave Johnson some of his diaries from the time the BlackBerry was being developed. Wandel, according to Johnson, will be quite charmed by how many of his original notes are in the film when he watches the movie. It's hilarious that he made that video, given how closely my character is modeled off him. Everything from that guy I stole. I owe him a lot. The corporate biopics are attacking. Many people have also questioned aloud why there are currently so many company biopics on the market as a result of the BlackBerry movie. Many stories that examine the story behind the product have been criticized on Twitter, including Ben Affleck's air about Nike sneakers, Tetris on Apple TV, and perhaps the most bizarre of them all, Eva Longoria's directorial debut flame and hot about the fiery Cheetos that make your fingertips red. As Richard Montes, played by Jesse Rodriguez, is heard saying in the teaser, it's a spicy chip, it's gonna change everything. But does every product have to alter the course of history? And in a two-hour movie, do we really need to witness how each sausage is made? The answer is probably no in a world where we no longer have buttons on our phones, where adverts are seared into our eyelids, and where emails ping in our pockets constantly.